Former Governor Rick Perry and his legal team have come out swinging after a judge refused to toss two felony abuse of power charges against him. And Perry is the one doing the tough talking himself. It's not going through his attorneys. Fox 4's Sean Rabb has our story. Good morning. Good morning, sir. One day after a judge refused to stop two indictments against the former governor, Perry's on the offensive. I am proud to stand for the rule of law. And I know that my actions were right when faced with a public official whose illegal, unethical, embarrassing, and inappropriate behavior has completely tarnished her office and lost the confidence of the taxpayers that she served. What Perry calls embarrassing was Travis County District Attorney Rosemary Lindbergh's boorish behavior on jail video during a drunk driving arrest. After her conviction, the governor called for her resignation. She refused. Perry, accused of publicly threatening, then making good on vetoing $7.5 million in state funding for the Public Corruption Division in Lindbergh's office. That a governor has a constitutional right to exercise lied item veto authority in Texas, and I've used that authority lawfully and legally. Perry has a point when he says governors do this sort of stuff all the time. SMU so political science professor Cal Jilson says forth. the indictments are not about Perry's veto power. The indictments are actually about a potential quid pro quo back and forth offering benefits for official action. I'll give back the money to your district attorney of Travis County's office if you resign. While Perry's attorneys file motions appealing the judge's ruling, he continues exploring a possible presidential run. Or actually make an announcement uh, is, a, is a better descriptive term in the uh, May-June timetable, just like we had intended to um, before this. Jilson warns this could change the former governor's plans. I might not like it. He certainly doesn't like it, but it could be a conviction. Sean Rabb, Fox 4 News.